Don't know how much I'd like to get out of this parking spot. I like that car. Coming up with vlog 001 has been the hardest one so far. I can't seem to do the one explaining why I'm doing this. It's the start of 2016. My name's Rob and I'm starting a vlog. Well, no doubt some things need to change. I will get my hair cut. A day for a change. I can pay to get started vlogging. getting my hair cut here for about 40 years. Oh, man. You video taking about it, yes. I always love getting my hair cut there. This is my first vlog entry. Well, my first vlog entry in the last eight years. Why would anybody want to watch you? That's a very good question, little Gazoo Man me. A question I don't really have the answer to. But another question I would like to address that's most likely coming from my loyal family and friends on Facebook is WTF. Why is Levy doing this? It was supposed to be the first vlog, but I moved on and I got to subsequent vlogs just because I'm stuck on this one. As you can see, I started this on January 3rd of this year. And this was the outfit I was wearing right here. It's been hanging there along with a couple other costumes that I was wearing to try to trick you into thinking that I did this in one day. But I haven't because it's been very difficult to try to explain this. All right, getting out of the office. I really, really having trouble. That's better. This person doesn't like when Bo goes on the lawn there. That person right there. Stay off of there, Bo. Bo, come here. Let's, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna. There we go. All fixed. Kind of worried about what people think about me walking around with this camera rig, just vlogging, talking to myself. Probably look like a bit of a freak, but I'm ready for it. Whatever. Nothing. That's so bad. This is the first vlog in the series. I'm not releasing this one first because I've been having a lot of trouble trying to figure out what to say in it. I, I wanted to make this vlog perfect. Never let perfect be the enemy of good enough. Why is Levy doing this? To correctly answer this, it's important to understand my professional career to date. I'm going to step back a few short years after the inception of YouTube to a young vlogger trying to explain his work experience up to that point. Today it's Thursday, June 7, 2007 and I just had a deja vu. In 1995 I was working for a family business with my father and brother both of whom I admire greatly and consider my dear friends. Just in an industry that I had no passion for, I set out on a blind adventure as an entrepreneur and decided I would attempt to conquer a new phenomenon at the time, the World Wide Web. In 1996, I incorporated the company. Currently, there's the bare minimum staff, honest and talented, and both named Rob. I'm Rob P, also known as Shit. I've been working with Rob for about 10 years. Hi, I'm Rob H. I'm known here as Rob H, and I've been working here for a couple of years. It's time to move on, time to expand, time to set the bar higher than the level I've been skipping over for the past 10 years. My acting skills haven't improved, but certainly that guy was better looking than this guy, but that's not really a fair assessment because I haven't shaven today. Righties. Save a dollar on Twix today. Didn't take the deal on the Twix, but did manage to spend $25 buying a razor and some shaving cream. That's so expensive. We have to shave, we don't have an option. Time to shave off this old. The first reason why I'm doing this is as you can see from the vlogs I posted almost 10 years ago, is I have unfinished business. I am not an actor, I'm not a writer, I'm not a director. My personal vlogging career came to a short end in 2008. 
Instead, I started the ISO network to act as a producer to create vlogs. The ISO network spent a year creating vlogs that I was pretty proud of, but unfortunately the expense of having a full-time editor and writer was too hard on the cash flow of OnRoad. OnRoad continued to chug along, but unfortunately the more successful we made our clients, the more they were justified to move our work in-house. It was a business that was destined to fail, and I was too slow to react. In 2009, I lost a couple key clients, and I was forced to move out of my amazing space in Liberty Village. It had been a decade that I had been calling that my home. From there, I moved up to Midtown to the space I currently occupy on Thelma Avenue in the Forest Hill Village. In the spring of 2013, I finally shut down the web development company On Road Communications. It was at that time that I started Levy Digital, a video production company. This was focusing on one of my main passions that I had discovered over the past decade working at OnRoad, was making videos. It was something I loved, and I dove into it with two feet. Unfortunately, after working hard for over two years at it, I discovered that I was in a market space that simply didn't exist. I wasn't big enough to compete with the commercial production houses, and I wasn't small enough to compete with the person using iMovie on an iMac. Simply put, I couldn't charge enough money to make a good living, and I felt that my clients were even paying a little bit too much money. I know that doesn't make sense, but that was just the market space that I was in that didn't make sense. The next reason is, I just want to continue making movies. It's a craft I love. I tried to make a living doing it over the last couple of years. It didn't work out. The next reason is the true reason why I'm doing this, and that's to promote a new venture that I'm starting. This vlog will eventually follow the trials and tribulations of a 47-year-old entrepreneur who over the last five years has gotten the sh** kicked out of him. Starting a new business with very few resources, but a lot of determination, a lot of grit, and what will be a lot of hard work. It will hopefully be a blueprint for anybody else that finds themselves in my predicament. The final reason for this vlog is for accountability. As you can see, I work in this office all by myself. And there's no one really here to make sure that I'm working, so that becomes you. And this becomes me. And I'm going to work my ass off, and I'm going to prove it in this vlog. If anyone's still watching and got to the end of this vlog, I apologize for that long history lesson of my sad professional career. It's had its ups. Going forward, I promise it'll be more uplifting, more energy, and just more fun to watch. Let's try it again tomorrow.